Welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover the edge properties in scrap cutting. After you have your nest and NC applied, click on the cut scrap icon. The first thing we need to decide on is if we want to include edge scrap lines and part to part lines, or both. I'm going to go ahead and choose both. Decide if you want to have lead ins and lead outs on the edge of your sheet and between your parts. For more details on lead in types, click on the question mark here. Lead out to sheet edge will cut the lead in first and move towards the edge of the sheet before cutting the rest of the scrap line. Adjust your edge distance and part clearance here. If you want to lessen the amount of scrap lines, maybe because you have a heavily populated nest and you don't need scrap lines between parts as much, add a minimum cut length to reduce scrap lines between parts. If you're going to be using progressive scrap cut, you can set those settings here. If you're using multiple heads, you can set those parameters here. And that's all there is to it. 